Hey Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly love reading for the 16th through the 22nd of July. This will not resonate with everybody so please just take what does resonate and what leave what don't. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm not sure if I said that already but we will tip you on down here and see what we got for you guys coming for the week. Big changes here with this eclipse season. Um, lots of intense emotions for you water for for uh, you Aquariuses. Uh, yeah. You guys, a lot of you are coming into a new role as well. Um, you can't hide from your purpose anymore. You've been hiding from somebody. That's what that message is for someone. Spirit and angels, what message do you have for Aquarius? In love, the 16th through the 22nd. What messages do Aquarius need to have? All right, your first card out. Age of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an earth sign child, um, but you're waiting to hear from somebody. You're waiting to hear on a message. Could be about finances of going back to school. I'm hearing for some of you. But um, you're waiting to hear from somebody that you're hoping will make you a love offer. Oof. Could be a Capricorn. Could be somebody who's toxic for you. We will clarify here. Oh, temperance. Beautiful. And who is Aquarius dealing with? And the outcome this week of this connection. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So um, there's something that needs to be done before your blessings can come in. But they are here for you. Um, so we'll see what we get. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get your overall. What is Aquarius's overall situation that they're dealing with this week? The Nine of Pentacles is your situation and a clarifier. Clarifier is the Emperor in reverse. Could be dealing with um, an Aries, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It could just be somebody who is uh, somebody who is dominating in nature, who um, has to have everything their way, who is out of line, out of alignment with themselves, um, very dominating in a very toxic way. You are breaking free from this energy and moving into being single for a group of you. Why is this page of pentacles here for Aquarius? The ten of wands. Why is the devil here? The hanged man. The knight of wands. Why is the five of cups here? I don't know when this card came out, but it's the chariot. We'll put it back in because I don't know where it went. There's a pile of cups here in reverse for whoever Aquarius is dealing with. The three of pentacles and the eight of cups. Well, there's the Ace of Pentacles again in the upright. Whew. Okay. So Aquarius, um, you guys are waiting to hear from somebody that you could possibly be in separation from. <coughs> or you're waiting to hear for another group of you if finances are going to come through. So you can leave this relationship. This is the Ten of Wands um, in reverse. So you're not quite there yet. You're not quite ready to close out this chapter, but you're waiting on hearing from somebody. This is something to do with finances so you can get out of this abusive relationship is what I'm I'm hearing. Um, this person is very controlling, very um, condescending, very uh, talks down to you. This is a very, very toxic energy that you are dealing with, Aquarius. Um, you've taken a lot of time with the hanged man to 
try to figure out how to break free out of this relationship. I don't like this energy at all. I don't like it. I don't like who you're dealing with. Um, this person. You've taken the time. You've taken time to try to plan how to financially escape, escape this relationship as well as breaking free from this person. Um, you are uh, you are gaining. Yeah, you are going to be allowed to um, heal from this, to move forward from this. You are working on yourself. Um, the Knight of Wands, somebody's coming in very quickly to help you. They're going to help you restore balance in your life. They're going to help you get your emotions on track. Um, could be a fire sign as well, but or a Sagittarius. But this person mostly is going to bring you balance, the ability to heal from this relationship that you're trying to escape. The person that you are dealing with is the Five of Cups in reverse. So they're getting over a heartache of this relationship as well. This was a third party situation. Um, and they are refusing to move on because they are spiritually connected to you. Now, I don't feel, however, that this is the same person as who you're uh, becoming single from. And with the, you're becoming single, oops, from this person. After you leave this person, which at the beginning of the week, I, you're waiting. Um, you're in the hangman, but by the end of the week into next week, you're going to find balance. You're going to find healing and you're going to find a way to get away from this energy. This person, however, is who you are in separation from. Um, they're getting over the heartache of this relationship and what, um, what transpired during it. They refuse to move forward without you because they knew the connection you shared. So they've been just personally healing themselves. You are their wish come true. You are what they want. You are what they are hoping for, as well as it is the Aquarius card. They are wanting to come forward and offer their cup to you, but they're waiting for you to deal with what you have to deal with right now. Um, they think about you constantly. They can't seem to get you off their mind. They can't concentrate on things. Um, and they're defending the connection that you two share um, more so within their self. They're starting to have self-doubt here, Aquarius, but um, they are continuing to defend this connection um, to anyone and everyone. Your guys' out, uh, outcome for the week is the Hermit in reverse, could be dealing with a Virgo, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So you're very confused. You're not sure what to do. You're kind of living in a fog, in a haze. Um, you don't quite know how to break free from uh, the energy that you're dealing with because you're so confused. It is calling you, however, to go spiritually within you will find that light. You will find that courage. You will find the truth when you go within. And when you do, um, you're going to move forward. You're going to move on. Um, you are going to move on with some hurt still. You still have a lot of pain that you're dealing with that you're sorting out. But you're moving forward towards your Ace of Pentacles. Remember I said it was on the bottom of your deck as well. So you are going to break free from this relationship with this Emperor in Reverse and set out towards smoother waters and in search of that gift from the universe. When you do, the universe is going to put into place the person you're meant to be with, your soulmate. This is somebody from your past returning, whether it be past life or this lifetime, but this is somebody that you have met before. This is somebody that you have been with before, and they're going to give you the Ten of Pentacles. This is the relationship that you've been hoping for to come to fruition, that you've been hoping would um, bless your life with, uh, with a second chance. And you also have the Two of Cups here. So very beautiful. Um, yeah, just amazing energy here. You have the Ten of Cups with it as well. So your outlook looks amazing. As soon as you break free from this person who has a hold on you, who is toxic for you, you have to let go of this toxic energy. It could be a Capricorn, but I'm not seeing it that way. Um, 
I am seeing it as a fire sign. So uh, you are going to break free and you are going to be able to um, find yourself again. You're feeling kind of lost right now. You're doubting yourself. But when you do, look at all that the universe has in place for you. Judgment, which is, you know, the the start of a new relationship that's going to provide you with the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Six of Swords, which is going to bring you, lead you to the Ace of Pentacles. And you have the Two of Cups that's going to bring you the Ten of Cups. I mean, how much amazing more of an outlook for the week can you get? Spirit and Angels, can you give me an advice for... There we go. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Um, your bottom of the deck is worth waiting for. So... Um, what this card is encouraging you to do is to be open with this person, to um, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. Let them know that, that you want to be single, that you want to set out on your own, that you want to bring balance back into your life, and you're wanting to do it um, with by yourself because at the bottom of the deck, you have divine partnership coming in. Divine timing is at work in your love life. As we speak, what advice do you have for Aquarius for this week, Spirit? Please and thank you. The Eagle King, the big picture and angelic help. So um, Spirit is wanting you to make sure you're looking at everything. Uh, be cautious of the red flags. The Eagle, they can see 365 all the way. They can see everything from a bird's eye view. So make sure you're looking at the big picture. And most importantly, make sure you're sending your prayers up to the heavens on a bird's wings because they hear you. They hear your prayers. They hear you asking for help. Ask them to help you get out of this situation. Ask them to help you heal, to move forward into the path that you're meant to take. And ask them to continue to guide you on this journey as, um, as you set forth out there. Um, by yourself, trying to find balance and peace and healing so that you can bring your soulmate in. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. You guys have um, a pretty positive week. Just make sure you're asking your angels for help and, and openly discuss um, how you feel with your partner and if you want to leave this, this energy. So um, like I said, this will not resonate with everybody. So if it didn't fit, make sure you check your moon, rising, and Venus signs as well, as well as your channeled messages from spirit. And um, go ahead and, and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus on those as well. So I hope you guys have a beautiful week. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.